Hey guys, it's your boy Fresh here. As you can see right now, I'm with my second account in Fortnite. The the account that I have lost, uh, I only have it on mobile now, lost it on PC, lost it on Xbox. But today, I just thought I'd show you, I did for my second video show you guys, third I think, uh, my Fortnite locker on that account. But I want to show you it again because it's racked up some new skins. And just want to bring back that feeling to me because I do sometimes play it on mobile because I get a bit sad missing it. So yeah, let's get right into this. As you can see, uh, the reason why I'm not too high this season and I really wanted to unlock some of the gold characters. I'm probably not going to be able to because the Doomsday event is in five days. Um, it's because I was halfway through, I think personally, not bragging or anything, but I think if I um, had, um, if I... Uh, kept on playing on that account i'd probably be at least 250 by now uh but yeah because that's our account is obviously higher but this account's kind of catched up quite quick so yeah i'm just going to be showing you the skins one by one i can't show you the pickaxes and stuff because the it won't really show it so yeah let's just get into it so first off we'll start right at the bottom with the uncommons so we have the um let me read the name, I forgot. Star Spangled Trooper, which is uh, released in Season 4. It was like one of the uh, uh, American 4th of July skins. Then there's um, the St. Patrick's Day skin. I won't show all of like them. I'm going to do them quite fast. This is like obviously with uh, the update, um, with it being there. Oh, what kind of time of year is it? I forgot. St. Patrick's Day. And then this is like one of the first skins I ever bought, which was the uh, Scarlet Defender. And I have the hat for it because, yeah. And then there's the prickly patroller, which is the cactus skin. A bit kind of very basic. Just thought I'd like. I just thought I liked it. Uh, Nogops, which is one of my OGs. Like it's it was OG, but now it's not. Uh, then there's the nightlight. Uh, I kind of prefer the male version. I don't know why I bought the female version. But then we have um, this guy. Kind of reminds me of the aerial assault trooper. It's the Mutians Major skin and then we have this skin do not do not know why i bought this this is the king flamingo this is so cool and guys if you want to see more locker videos where i show this locker which i will soon make sure to smash that like button at five likes or do some more and make sure to smash subscribe so you never miss out on upload any videos to the channel because we're on the night road to 90 subscribers and we're super close and i need all your help to get there also, guys, um, we should get some merch. Link is in the description. We're dropping fresh 100 subs merch when we get to 100 subs. So, yeah, let's uh, keep going. Then we have the um, the Ali A skin. I, I prefer this style of it. Uh, uh, the Crusher skin. And then the Bullseye. I only like this style of bullseye, I'm very uh, specific of what I like. Uh, I think there's three styles. Then we have the aura of course, I hate the other style of it that, that recently came out. absolutely hate it. And yeah, now we're moving on to blues, we have this skin. Uh, one of the skins from the battle pass, Turk versus Reptide. Then we have my boy Fishy. Fishy boy. Um, we have next the soccer skin. Like I remember when everyone used to use these and they were super sweaty. Now they're not even sweaty, dude. Uh, the Bassassin pack. I uh, didn't show that. Uh, Codename Elf. Obviously, like it's just one of my favorites, even though it's not OG. Then we have the Bright Bomber, which is like so the this has been released since season one. I had no idea it had been. Then we have a season four battle pass skin, which is the Zoe, uh, kind of cool. I think the hat glitched then a minute ago. Right, um. Then we have the tomato skin, like, the, the tomato skin was kind of cool back in the day, but now it's, like, it's just blown out of, like, the window of all the other skins. Uh, we also have, um, um, this powder skin. I'm not showing you all of them, because it would take way too long. Uh, the, uh, the P1000, that came out in Season X, it's a really cool thing, uh, it has actually got a built-in emote, which I'll show you right now, which is the Peely Pulse, which is kind of cool, I guess, and now he's dizzy, <laughs> then we've got one of my favourite skins, which is the Alpine, uh, Al Alpine Ace skins, uh, kind of cool, 
and we have Team Mecca. Uh, I don't know why I bought this one. Like, it seemed kind of cool, but, like, no one wears it. Same with this skin over here, the Luminos. Seem cool, no one really wears it now. Um, obviously, the Meow Skulls. Um, the... What's this guy called? I forgot his name. <laughs> Master Key. And then we have uh, your boy, uh, Laser Beam. Ginge. You see how their face drop, man? It's big funny. Uh, one of the worst skins in the game now. That are only, like, sweaty bots wear. Which is, like, the, uh, the Christmas tree one. This skin, I don't even know why it was added. <laughs> it just jokes, I reckon. Uh, then we have uh, this skin, the dusk, and then next we have one of my favourites, which is the doggo. Right, and then literally one of my favourites came out oct in October, which is obviously the Ghoul Trooper. Dude, it's not OG anymore, but it's it, boy, it's good to have it on this account. Uh, next we have this skin. I recently purchased this when I still had my account, this one here, because I kind of wanted to buy it. I only like the ice version though, I'm very picky with the skins. Next we have the, one of the star packs I believe, which is the cold bat skin. Uh, not the coolest skin in the world because it is a starter pack, so they don't make them that cool. Then we have the kind of cool skin, I kind of like this one, Denny. Oh, it's a different version of Denny. Season 9 Overtime Challenges. They haven't done any Overtime Challenges this season. There's just Storm the Agency. I've done all of them. Alright, let's go to this skin. I really wanted the Chick version, but I couldn't be bothered to get all the levels for this. That's Cameo. And then there's the Bunny skin, which I got in Easter. Then I think we'll move on to the final Epic which is the eight ball i kind of like i didn't use this skin but then at the end of the season for some reason i didn't do any of the challenges for the overtime they for some reason gave me the uh overtime version the corrupted oh no this wasn't the overtime version but it was a corrupted stand they gave it me which is odd then we have the polar peaks monster i think he has a built-in emo as well yeah this one kind of cool I think he did that in the live event as well. Then we have the snowy version of the, um, of, uh, Frozen Nogops. That's what it's called. And then we have one of my favourite, I really like this one, which is the Frozen, Frozen Fish Stick. Now we're moving on to the big boys, the legendaries. But finally, just to finish them off, we have Harley Quinn, which is a good to finish off with. It's a pretty cool skin. I think I did a video on it in January, around that time. And then we have the Valor, kicking it off with Legendaries. Um, the Wukong skin, which actually came out so long ago. The back bling wasn't even originally with it when it came out. Then we have the Zenith, which is Season 6 Foul Pass, I believe. Uh, no, 7, sorry. Because uh, whatever the winter season was, and that was... Then we have the Wild Card. I think this came out, like, the end of Season 5. It was kind of a fun update for the final update of season five then we have obviously the scientist from season x chunky boy also known as uh i don't have the white style like all my friends were unlocking the white style of this in season x and they would not tell me how to get it oh my god like they were saying oh it's a secret i was like what and then we have the utopia skin uh the secret skin for season nine which is the uh singularity and we have the sentinel which is a uh, chicken uh, i like the second version of it definitely and then we have my favorite secret skin uh which is the um ruin which is kind of cool then we have rocks which is a really cool skin loser fruit aka i think loser fruit is getting an actual own skin soon and then this is the rose team leader you got it with save the world i believe uh quite cool because it's save the world exclusives only and we have the rogue spider knight which is one of my most exclusive uh skins i got this one like a lot more recent than the eon because i got the eon in season nine and yeah all right uh this is the rex skin i i remember rushing upstairs saying if i could buy this uh it hadn't come out in ages uh yeah just thought i'd say that then we have the red knight that that was og but obviously it just, it comes out in the item shop quite a lot now which is kind of sad to hear 
and I think soon there'll be a black version of this, like the Black Knight, in the next Battle Pass, basically, if that makes sense. Um, Raven, like, it's like the Tomato one, it was cool, but now it's just blown out. Uh, Ragnarok, which was the Season 5 TR100. Uh, moving on to the... Oh no, I never claimed that. Oh yeah. The Power Cord skin, which now has two styles, by the way. So there's a green style, which I put on here, and then there is a... Wait a minute... Uh, there's a pink style, which is the OG style, but, so yeah, uh, then we have the Oro skin, which is obviously quite new, I did a live stream on it, uh, yeah, Omen, kind of cool, alright, uh, Omega, which is my OG tier 100, I did play in season 3, but didn't know how to buy the battle pass, so yeah, that's that, uh, then we have the Moisty Merman, which is one of my favourites because it has so many different styles now. And then we have the Fully Gold Midas, which I have here. Um, Lynx, which is uh, kind of cool. I decided to put the blue style on just because I liked it. And we'll go right to here now with the Fate skin, looking quite cool. So I bought the Omen and the Fate, not at the same time, I bought the Omen way after. This is the chapter 2 season 1 to 100 which is obviously fusion. Then we have Maya. My Maya I chose here is a bit boring. I prefer my other Maya. Uh, then we have the brood like dragon skin. That's kind of, it was kind of cool. And then we have my like, one of my coolest exclusive skins, the Eon, which is kind of sick. Um, then we have uh, Drift. I really like this skin. Cannot get over it. I do like the one with the mask, but I seem to, for some reason, love this style. Which looks cool, if you ask me. We'll put the max style back on, just to show that I have the max. Uh, then we have the Dire Wolf skin, one of my favourite tier 100, probably my favourite tier 100, to be honest with you. And then, moving all the way to the top, we have the Dark Vanguard. We're coming to the end, guys. So, make, like I said, make sure to smash like if you want to see more. At 5 likes, we'll do another kind of locker, locker thing if I um, get some more skins. Also, uh, these new skins came out. If you want to, just make sure to pop in code FreshYT. I don't actually have it in because it reset. Oh, no, no space, no space. I always forget they don't, I think they don't enable spaces and stuff. Right, um, yeah, so basically that's nearly everything, we're coming to top now. Uh, we have the Nutcracker skin, like, this this one used to be so creepy when it was OG, if you ran into this guy you were like terrified, because like, if you run into this guy it's like, death, literal death. Right, um, then we have the Chomp Junior skin, which is like, I, I see Dan D use it a lot, a YouTuber, uh, yeah. Then we have the Catalyst, I do have this Max, but I prefer this style of it. And then we have, I think I have it Max. I don't have the Drift version of it though, like the actual looking Drift one, but I prefer, um, the Snowstorm version, so I'll show you the Max version. It's basically the same as the Drift. And then, Got my final few skins. Calamity, love this skin. I used to use it a lot. Um, then we have Deadpool, your boy. I don't think on this account I've actually unlocked the grey stars. No, I have not. I haven't unlocked the grey one. So I probably should do that. And my final two skins, guys, which is the Molten Valkyrie and the Molten Battlehound. Now, you might be thinking, Fresh, why would you do a video on this if you've already done it? It's because, like, I missed I missed this account, so I'm just showing you guys I do still have OG skins on this phone. Uh, and then we have another exclusive, I missed this one out, which is the Dark Vertex, which is a pretty cool skin. So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy that video, make sure to sm smash subscribe. It'll really help us to 90 subscribers if you do that. And make sure to... Um, s s smash like for more at five likes i will do a locker tour of this locker like everything so yeah guys um thank you for watching everybody make sure to click right here to subscribe and click right here to watch another video i'll see you in the next one
Peace.